gently repose them frequently enough to protect them from evil spirits. I took the uh, liberty to use your character and say that you would commit to doing that because I'm sure a grave cleric like you would uh, be happy to use a, a domain spell frequently. It's a ritual after all. <laughs> and also took the liberty to say that uh, you have uh, heard about Lamb, but you haven't had the chance to meet any in the past. But I'm sure since it's something of your domain that you would have at least heard and uh, shared some information about them through you. Okay? Sounds good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much. I guess um I guess we should continue to um oh uh, Akbar, did you see anything or feel anything weird? Um well I felt uh these bones were not for a long time now, but they were enchanted with um something that would make them rise but um if mr corbrell um is true to what he says then um they should be able to stay at rest um, um i can look into getting some sort of um scroll and able to maybe dispel sort of this but Until then, I think um, Corbril's thing should be fine with keeping your sisters at rest. <sighs> okay. I feel a little bit better knowing all of that now. Um, so much better. I guess we should start heading back now. Do we need anything? Um... Well, do you want some time alone with them to speak? I figure I would do that when we we're, we're finally there. Okay. Oh, but I don't mind carrying them. Uh, sh sure. Um, how heavy is the bag? Um, I guess it would not be easy for one to carry it alone. It's for children, so... I'll just, um, she can carry the front of the sack and I'll just hold up the back. Carry most <laughs> of the weight. <laughs> when she gets it, well, she'll be like, Ah, uh, maybe you, you can hold on to him. I'll just stand by your side. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, oh, hey, Jerry. You're still here. <laughs> have you told Jerry like I mean have you told him where he's going where like there are going to be a whole bunch more people is he comfortable with that you know what I was thinking is, you know, is I, Jerry a he I that's I'm sure that's none of our business um but I was thinking, actually, maybe we should, um, uh, we could have him in the grove. He could just kind of, you know, hang out. Mm -hmm. And, and if, I mean, if he wants to come, hang out there and just kind of stay on the outskirts if needed. And we can, like, make him a little place to hang out. I bet he would love him. Think you'd make Key a little sick, but um, just because he smells a little. I feel like I'm not stressing this enough. I felt like I was genuinely poisoned when I stood within this this creature's uh stench, the pure oh. revolting smell. Is yes. that not like me? He's, Jerry's kind of like me. We're like one of the same. Uh, I, I, uh, okay. <laughs> we'll see how it works. Well, 
if you think that it should stay here, I, I, I won't. No, bring Jerry. It. He'll be okay. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how it works. And if Jerry's not comfortable, um, and you know wants to go home, we can bring, we can send him home. <sighs> Poor Jerry. Well, I'll... She'll look to Jerry. <laughs> Do you want to come with us, Jerry? <laughs> She's kind of like yell out towards him. You made me an animal handling zimber. Uh. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You're going to see Jerry looking backwards into the bog uh, and onto you. And she seems a bit uh, confused. Through her animal hand with her, you understand that? She is uh, a bit indifferent about that choice. But more like if you urge him a little bit to follow you, he would follow you. If you don't urge him, he would stay here. <laughs> if you don't mind waiting a little bit for me to try to think about some shit, I could try talking to it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, do that. Talk to Croak too. Yeah. Um, just right. make sure it, it knows that it's going to an incredibly heavily populated area with a lot of people that make a lot of noise <sighs> from a dense bog. All right, just just give me give me a little bit to um you know get get that thing going, as as long as no other fucking weird people pop up and distract me, just. Give me a little bit. Yeah, we can do that. And Locke's going to try to ritually cast Speak with Animals. Mm hmm I think it's a ritualistic method of yourself uh, becoming uh, uh, someone with uh, far more attuned instincts to the nature around you. Look at Jerry. Now I'm going to allow some creative liberty. It's not exactly a beast, but I'm going to allow this because it has everything in common with a beast other than its type. <laughs> so yeah, you're going to see Jerry looking at you a little bit. And you can see that every move that it does, every little sound, you can translate it into words. Um, shit. Uh, g can you, can you understand me? Yes. Fuck, all right. Um, <clears throat> my, my friend, the small red one, is offering you a new home if you want to. It's, um... It's not as wet, but there are a lot of trees. Uh, she she can kind of, I think she can make whatever kind of land you want. I don't know. Uh, she she, do you want to come with her to a new home? It's gonna be a lot more people around. People like us around. Um, what 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 do you want? I guess. She is very kind. But you don't want me. The rest has to take a step back. If I come, can I eat people? People usually eat me when I eat them. <laughs> um, usually no, but I have eaten people too before, if there's bad people, so uh, maybe, but generally no. Um, we can get you any other kind of food but no one will hit you 
if if anyone hits you, I will hit them a lot harder. Is that true? As I takes a step forward, obviously, since uh, you can understand each other, it starts to trust you a little bit more than the rest. As some of us, the moment that approaches, you're going to feel its stent a little bit coming. But you are quite resistant to such uh, things yourself. As it approaches, though, it's going to tell you. Your area, you said, is not like this, right? I like wet lands. I'll make your area wet land. Oh. You, you can make it wetland. A little bit. Hmm. Murky. Swamp. Breeze around it. You can be in those trees and and the red one can help make it wetter for you. Red one kind. I like red one. Okay. I will come with you. But if not enough food, I will eat people. And you promised they won't hit me back. Um, w one generally comes before the other. Um... They, they would start hitting if you start eating. So if you don't eat people, we will make sure you have food. It's, it's, it's a big forest that can be yours to hunt in, if that's what you do. If I have food, I won't hit people. Uh, let's go. I want yes. to see it. No. Hmm? And I suppose, Juniper, you're going to cast your spell? Yeah, I think with this time she would open up uh, to the tree. Sorry, open up the tree. So she'll start casting. What the heck was it again? Travel via plants. I suppose that's Travel, yeah. That can't be it. And thus, we are back into Millstone. Uh, right in the middle of town with this creature. No, <laughs> We can make a, a pin for it and, you know, let it be however he wants, and then we can feed him some cows. Uh-huh. So I put Jerry up here on the top right. He teleported. Okay. That's a perfect spot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what about your sisters, Juniper? Oh, the sisters. Um, I guess Juniper would drag everyone, and um, to uh, her tree that she's planting. And I'm assuming Akbar, we probably made a hole near the tree right so we can bear start burying them essentially yeah if not there's a shovel that's what we were planning on this whole time was <laughs> burying under the tree a tombstone uh, under the trees in the backyard something like yes. that right a family mm -hmm. tombstone. yeah um when she take is like grabs everyone and they come over to essentially this open hole and she kind of like nudges Ogvar to place them. Um, she'll kind of start welling up and uh, with tears. 
you know, it's kind of nice we brought Jerry. Jerry's like the guardian of my sister's bones now, don't you think? Yes, they're very, yeah, they're going to be really guarded. Uh, and, um, you know, probably having something that will shoot a death ray at anything that, like, tries and fucks with it is going to be really good, um, frankly. Oh my god, that is true! Ugh. Man, so many good things have happened recently. Um, before, she'll kneel down. Before yeah? we bury them, may I speak with them? Oh, I'm... Um... Well, what do you want to ask them? Their name. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Um, go ahead. Uh, Arthur, are you going to write this down? Yes, ma'am. I will. Very well. I think I can write it too. Uh, and let's see. That spell ghost will... Very gently lay a hand on this one and cast Sleep is Dead. Mm -hmm. So I now have a small question for Juniper. Uh, from your backstory and from what I've got, I have uh, Vina's name, but I do not have the other sister's names. Uh, don't you want me to go ahead with some names myself, or do you yeah. have them somewhere, but you have not them? Mm -hmm. Um, the only two I think I had was that she knows is like Alistair and, um, oh my god, what the heck was the other one? Um, but otherwise, yeah, you can go ahead and neat, name them. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, in regards to how that story progresses, you're going to see that uh, those four ones, uh, none of them is Vina. Uh, but other than that, you're going to find out that the other four sisters that you had here are going to fall down as you know what i believe it's better to leave them uh, without uh, names right now uh, Belgos would note down of course the names they would respond to that but uh, since uh, they are deceased let's keep it vague for the days of uh, storytelling here okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. um can you do me a favor Ella? Is, can you ask my sisters if they know where Mother is? Unfortunately, they don't know anything about after they died. Oh. Well, but do they know where we were? Uh... Belgos will use the first two questions to ask, um, what are your, uh, it, it only works on one body at a time, so he's, they're gonna ask this one. The first two questions are, uh, what are the names of you and your sisters, and how did you and your sisters die? And then, yeah, they will use the third one to ask, um, where was your home? Exactly. Mm hmm Okay, so in regards to their names, they would answer for uh, for Alistair in this case, and uh, I feel in the other, uh, in other two. And uh, in regards to how they died, I would respond, uh, uh, we, we were saved by our mother and her followers for rebelling against her. I died first in an instant, but I saw my mother's eyes ready to torment my sisters. D 
Did you need to ask that? I could have answered that for you. Uh, I think we need to do more for my book. Well, I hope you. It's. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It's very much the same for all of them, and um, I don't think we need to. Uh, I don't think Juniper needs to hear all that again. Not to, I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, I just... I thought it might be a bit hard for Juniper to talk about, so I simply wish to ask them instead. Apologize if I have upset you. No, it's it's okay. I just wasn't ready for that. I I I just wanted to know if uh, if they remembered where we were held. Belgrus will ask, do you remember where you were held? Fire. Oh, get swamp. I recall a strange place. One day that we found out with Ophelia, we managed to pierce an illusion and uh, I remember that everything around was freezing uh, cold but in the distance we saw mountains of sulfide that's all I recall about that place Well, that's helpful. Hmm. Um, telepathically to Belgos, Ogvar will say, um, would you mind, um, just asking them one thing that they would say to Juniper if they could? Uh, or Belgos a memory will... that they remember? Belgos will respond to uh, to Ogbar, and I tell I, I can do that, right? Or is it one more? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, sorry. Uh, I'm not the only one who can ask them. I think it might be more palatable if you were. Um, okay. Then Ogbar will <clears throat> step up. And will nod to Belgos. <clears throat> um, I I only know maybe um three of your names. Um, not sure if you all are here. Um, one apparently walked off. Um, we gotta find her. But um, <clears throat> uh, I was just curious. Um. You know, it's been so long since you've seen your sister. Um, if there was one thing that you could say to her, um, what would it be? I'm Aww. happy that you are alive. I will always love you, sister. Aww. 
Juniper and just start crying uncontrollably. I wish I hope could they hear me. I I love you all and I'm so happy that you did what you could to get us out of there. And I I'm so thankful every day. I wish I could be with you. But I've, I brought you to a safe place where I know that you all would absolutely love and enjoy. And I've made a family of my own, which I think you would love all of them so much. And I think of you nonstop. I have always cherished you and now I can have you by my side. It's such a great blessing and I love you so much. And I hope that you are safe and resting in peace. There is one more question I can bring up. I can also ask it again. Not on the same question. I, I don't know any questions. I only know things that I want to tell them. I, I don't think I have anything left to say. Do you mind? Mm -hmm. Do you mind praying? <clears throat> sure. Um, <clears throat> Alvar was uh, hugging Juniper as she started crying, and will um, <clears throat> say, um. Good mother, you've already helped us once today, um, but as you've done for um, all your children constantly, that's all you really do is help us and keep us safe. I thank you for giving us the ability to ascertain what occurred and how we could... Um, Keep these, keep this family safe, and 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 protect them in life and in death. I uh, wish that you continue um, your watchful gaze over us, and that you keep these children, though they not, might not be yours. Um, protected for my dearest. Oh, thank you, Akbar. That was beautiful. I'm so happy that you could go on this journey with me and that we could have we brought them back together and that we could have them here in this home now. Yeah. Um, I love you, sisters, and I, I'll come back every day if I can, every month, but every time the season changes to tell you new stories as if you were here. And I hope you watch over us. I just start weeping. <laughs> Agwar hugs around her um, while they stand next to the stone. I... 
guess we can cover them and and go check on the others. Um, yeah. Agvar, uh, while hugging her, will give Velgos uh, an appreciative nod for um, all that they've done today. Um, in such little time for their little family. Velgos will nod, but uh, it, it doesn't seem like uh, he, he will give them their space, and Velgos will, if no one objects start the uh, start the uh, ceremony mm -hmm. is Locke still with us or yeah, anyway Locke what's Locke away? doing mm -hmm. go to him well let's go for a, a little bit uh, there so Locke uh, as you do enter the house Kind of will greet you and say, ah, there you are. This is, uh, it's been a bit uh, persistent, you know. It's, it's a bit better today. Not enough to qualify for her going on walks or anything, but uh, she's been quite persistent that once you return, she would like to do something instead of staying on bed all day. But I'll leave you to her. Did everything go all right? Yeah, um, it, everything went well, and there's some weirdness that accompanies the, the likes of us whenever we do anything. Um, oh, yeah, I'll be here. Um, just kind of spread the word that um, there is a, um, I don't even know what it's fucking called. Um, there's just an animal that's in the woods just out back here uh th don't have anyone attack it oh uh, it's it's june's new um friend hmm. i see well i will leave you for now when we'll uh, when we'll see each other soon enough again certainly hey thanks thanks for um Thanks for just checking in. I appreciate it, Kiana. You're welcome. Bye, Nina. Bye, Kiana. As you enter lock, Nina will uh, smile a little bit. Uh, I won't role play a lot for Nina, but I will say a couple of things. Yeah. Uh, as she will say, lock, you're back. Just in time. Brainon's uh, new house is uh, prepared. He invited us for lunch later today. We'll go, right? No, oh, yeah, yeah. If that's um, if if that's something you want to do, and you're up for it, definitely. Um, yeah. It was um, a bit, bit harder recently, huh? I can lie to the others, but I don't think I can lie to you. I, I feel weirdly enough, but I think I'm getting used to it. But I don't think it's getting better. More that I'm just getting used to it. I guess it won't really greatly change until we go try to um to get to the bottom of it. But um yeah, just just whatever can help get in use or help makes things easier. We're um we'll we'll get there soon. We'll, we'll get we'll get it figured out. Uh, as you say that, he grabs you a little bit by your arm and um, 
leans on you to stand up. Wait, I, I, I should get uh, dressed a little bit. Or brain on. I want to see the others too. I haven't seen them this couple of days. Is there left with uh, Juniper? Should go all right. Is Juniper fine? I mean, physically, yeah. But um, this is um, this is just heavy stuff for her. Um. Yeah, they're, they're out back burying them. I, I left when that weirdo started having them talk, because I don't know how June's can kind of take shit like that. But yeah, they're, they're all back and we're fine. It was, um, <laughs> yeah, I can fill you in on the details, but it, it went all right. Uh, thank you, Luck. Thank you. Admina is going to get up a little bit, uh, start dressing. Perhaps you might enter into a little bit more of a chit chat about yourselves, uh, about how specific she's feeling, some symptoms might she might be having, uh, and uh, you're going to understand that uh, she is uh, probably putting it down a little, uh, but she's clearly in a rather bad state, and she's not as talkative as usual. Of course, uh, we're talking about Nina. In the meantime, uh, a little bit more to the south of the village, Brennan will be doing some uh, nice ship work and having uh, drinks, uh, singing a shanty with the crew. It's going to be a bit of a festive atmosphere there, as you can see a lot of people with the shipmaster and Lavois and the architect debris having a pretty nice cooperation on the docks, and you can see a lot of work is getting done on those places. But uh, later on ahead that day, all of you have agreed to go and pay a visit. To Brennan's house, the new house there. Oh. Now, it's not extremely complete the artwork, but uh, most part of it is. Uh, by not complete, I'm saying that uh, a lot of the house stuff are subject to change in the future. But you will see that uh, since uh, some forest gnomes have adapted and have started living in this village, tree houses have been quite a thing on the southern parts of it, with some wood elves and forest gnomes being uh, quite uh, good at the architecture of that stuff. It's uh, of those parts that Articular Debris just had a small say and agreed to some parts, but did not have all of the masonry involved in him. But it's good to have some uh, variety in those places. And as you go towards the south, you are going to get to have a small look at how these places look like as Ogvar, Log, Juniper, and Nina the full one. I suppose Belgus would not go to this one. Uh, uh, the, nonetheless, the, uh, ceremony is an hour long anyway. <laughs> yep. Damn. I mean, they wouldn't go immediately. I suppose both Juniper and Ogar, you would have a break for about two hours or so to get some rest, uh, get something to eat for yourselves and anything. But uh, have a look. No. So the My ground floor, and there's the first word. floor on the right. The top down look. As you go right there, you are going to be amazed to have seen this while it was building a little bit, but the end result is just amazing. Elvis architecture combined with the technology of some uh, gnomes in regards to the tools used, and it has it's something really amazing uh, right here in the midst of the woods. As immediately as you pass by, some forest gnomes will wave at you. As uh, you're going to see Leo. Wow going right outside and looking at you. Uh, Juniper, being the most perceptive of the group, give me a perception or an insight check. I'll leave it up to you. Oh, man. I've got advantage on the perception check, so I'll go with that. Mm -hmm. All right. I got these You're rolls. You're going to this. That, uh, of course, all are going to wave on you and say hello, but Lila, after saying hi, she's going to notice something on Nina, and she's going to turn a little bit thoughtful. Like, she, she will notice that Nina is not on a perfect state. Of course, as it does that, you are all going to notice that Nina feels kind of a bit sick, and she will not, of course, say the opposite. 
uh, Nina will all say that uh, a bit. I'm a bit under the weather, uh, but it's gonna be fine. I mean, look at this house. Perhaps we might change the topic of conversation. She's quite good at that. And uh, yeah, as uh, you head towards the entrance of the house, and uh, immediately as you approach, you're going to hear the barking of Lupa. As it goes closer, you can see there are dog uh, doors everywhere. She can pass through each uh, one of those gates freely, Aww. moving around. As Brennan, you can understand that your guests are here. They have arrived. Uh, Brennan uh, is going to follow Lupa. Holy uh, shit! Oh my god! Fuck's sake, Bray, I mean... Jeez. I was stunned the first time I saw it too. Is this all a big tree? Honey, it, it, why it, don't it, we have this on fire? <laughs> Dude, you could grow up a tree under the house and like lift it up on the branches. Can I? That'll work. I'm just so jealous right now. Ray, this is incredible. Your house. Incredible. Thank you. But this is only the outside. Come in, come in. Um. Boy. Ah, uh, fuck. No. Um. Y you know, when, when they said treehouse, I kind of had a different kind of expectation. My this goodness. is, uh. Shit. How do we get in? Um, over here. Oh, why aren't we up here? A, I thought this was a full drop. I thought it was a balcony or something. It's not a full drop. Well, I assume most likely the way that uh, Nina is, is uh, right below from what I can see above. And oh. We'll go that way into the central <laughs> area. Nina's so smart. You can enter all the trees. This is incredible. So Look. As obviously you are the one closest to Nina, you know what's been through. So uh, even though you're not as perceptive as Juniper, as you go closer, you're going to look at uh, Lila, skeptical look. Give me an inside check yourself. I just wrote it in that one. All right. Uh, oh, fuck. Holy Come shit! There, there. Okay, inside. Jesus fucking Christ! I believe in you. Oh my God! There's something wrong. All right, with this lady. Uh, you don't have disadvantage though. Uh, right now you're going. Oh, fine. Right. That's okay. Yeah. That's a good roll. I, I, now I was doing it for the thing, okay. but it's whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, at the same point as you start looking there, Lila will take a step forward and just kind of. Oh, you, you seem a bit uh, gloomy. Are you right? Miss Nina? Oh, darling, thanks for asking. I guess I'm just a bit under the weather, but thank you, thank you. I see, which are like, like an old lady, <laughs> Nina, talking at this point. <laughs> like, as uh, Lila will look at you, not in your eyes, but as you look at Lila, you're going to see that Lexi understands something. It was not just uh, caring for your neighbor uh, or something like that. Lexi might have some insight into this herself, but she won't say anything. Uh, I guess uh, uh, have, have fun. Uh, we'll catch up later. Hmm. Fuck. And she'll like kind of <laughs> run into lock real quick. Fuck. Yeah. Maybe she should go rest. No, we. She has been. We've um. Yeah, just uh, just long days working through things. Oh. Yeah, she's she's been she's been resting the whole time we were out. So we're just just getting out for a little bit. Uh, as long as we can get so. Okay. Ray, uh, give us a 
the tour. Of course. Come on then. Wow. Do, 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 do. This place is so, so the big. house is actually centered inside the tree instead of being atop like most tree houses. Mm -hmm. So each um, around the around the tree is actually all different rooms. If you uh, to our right over here is if we'll start we'll start in and just go around. Over here is the uh, the common room. Any meetings or any kind of gathering that we have to do with a nice fire pit. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you keep the fire from burning your house down? It's I'm glad here you might say that it's dark wood because dark wood is uh, like tree without the bad benefits of the trees. They're not burned easily, they are like steel in that regard. Is it the entire house that's made of dark wood oh, or no, just no, a no, just fireplace? Just a fire okay. Yeah, yeah. So, the the fireplaces are actually made of dark wood, so it won't burn. Oh, that's pretty cool. But, uh, oh. keeps us nice and warm. How and many anyway. rooms do you have here? Many. Many? Oh, uh, 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 Oh. I, I'm. I understand. See, June, June's and Ogvar's house has a lot of rooms because they're, you know, something's coming. So that's that's the same thing here, I assume. Mm. I get it. Yeah. Right. Do you have kids? Uh, there's a lot of rooms for future endeavors if it ever happens one day. Uh huh. Okay. Was this your rug room? Hmm? Is this your rug room? What is this? I... Um... I assume... For now, it's... Uh... I think it's an exit... I'm out of character. I think it's an exit to the patio. It might... I, I have honestly no clue. I can't tell from here. I, I would just add in, in this map, this would be a very small uh, shrine. Uh, a shrine. The ah. out onto the great archer, yeah. Because this is the ground oh, above. Okay. So there's like a little statue of the great archer here. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I wouldn't say exactly a statue, more like a carving in the wall or something like that. Oh, understood. I, I wanted to. Uh, I had to dedicate one room to uh, the great archer. Renan, feel free to. We have any creative liaison to this? I mean, this is a map that I found and edited a little bit, but I'm going to create a fully custom map for your house later on. So have this as a placeholder. So if you imagine stuff around, you can just uh, say it if you wish, and we are going to add the changes. Don't worry much about it. Mm -hmm. This is more like a template for the beginning of this, like I had for other houses, and we edited the little details here and there. All right. Thank you. Um, okay, cool. Um, over here, it's, it's just, it's just a little shrine for, uh, for the Great Archer. You know, and the Aww. community felt it would have been proper. That's so sweet! And then we have... And then, um, continuing around... Um, sometimes I have to have a meeting with just my, uh, with just the fleet, uh, hi uh, the higher ups of the fleet, the future, you know, for, for the moment it's, uh, you know, with Lavoir and so in this room we kind of discuss plans of the sorts. It's so pretty. Did, did, um, did Ada decorate it? 
I believe she had most of the, uh, most uh, the big, most of the the bigger hand of in say of what goes in here. Ah. It looks beautiful. I I didn't know that you were going to live in a in a big old tree. Where's the kitchen? Um You know, I never asked you. Ray, did you do you cook? Um so I'm actually going to have the kitchen be this room. Here and uh, I think like pantry here. Ooh. Um, uh, all these uh plants that I was gonna do here. I right, get to real quick. Uh, we're we're just gonna have like a bunch of like herbs and like like that are like for medicinal as well as like uh eating. Like no, I get it. It's like a work in pro progress. I get it. Aww. We can uh, we can give you the information for um. There was a shop we got a lot of our culinary stuff at. Oh, that'd be perfect because uh, yeah, the the kitchen needs work. Mm. But that would be fantastic, um and. To answer your question, Jennifer, it's it, it's a small pleasure of mine. It it I I don't dabble too far into it, but you know, being around the woods, Aww. I've learned to collect some some learned to look look what to look out for. You know, yeah, finding fresh but honey. And Ooh. I mean, we should have dinners over here all the time. Your table looks nearly big enough. <gasps> and it and oh my goodness, Bray, if you have children, then our children can hang out here and they can climb the tree. Mm-hmm. Isn't that great, it, Akbar? Yeah, it's pretty cool. As long as like I'm here to like break their fall if they, you know, tumble a bit. <laughs> I'm sure it does Aww. land on They'll find a soft patch of uh, grass to fall onto, uh, if anything. Yeah. Oh. So what have you been up to, Bray? You haven't been with us at all. It's been working on the ship, mostly. Uh, we're just getting it ready and getting the dogs ready for, you know, getting more ships. So that way we can start just shipping oh. things out of here. That sounds mm -hmm. awesome. I've been uh, having some people uh, getting getting some of the uh, the green wave ready uh, on, on on the lookout for the green wave, so that we we can start harvesting it and Ooh. shipping it out. Mm. Is that like gonna be our export? Our main export, I guess. I, I mean. I, it, this area has a has a an abundance, so it's it would be one beneficial export for us. Oh, Bray, we brought a friend back from our trip when we got my <laughs> sister's bones, and he is so sweet. You have to go see him. He is a little bit smelly, kind of like me, and. If you're not careful and you make him upset, kind of like me, he might, I don't know, blight you, but otherwise it's perfectly fine. And I think we're going to make him a little home and we're going to like put a little gate around it so he can kind of stay in his own thing. He does like to eat people according to Locke, but I think we're going to like, I can fix that. We can just get some yeah, I was gonna ask cows that. or something. Are they, uh, is Jerry like an omnivore or like... Do you know that? Like, could it eat plants? Or they? Yeah, you know, I never really got a chance to kind of uh, back brief you in our conversation before you fucking took us out of there, Junes. Um, oh. Yeah, so... <laughs> Jerry, as as mm -hmm. he's wont to be called, um, 
said that if he runs out of food, he's going to start eating people, which I tried to um, assuage him from. So that doesn't seem like plants are a second option for them. That's okay. Like, Ogvar doesn't really eat a lot of plants either, and so you can just share. We, like, get stuff for tea all the time, so it'll be okay. But you should see him. He's he's beautiful, and his name is Jerry. Purportedly, I haven't asked if he goes by something yet. Oh, yeah, I didn't manage to... I didn't think to ask about that. He doesn't seem like a wanderer, though. I think he's going to do just fine. If I just keep that little section super swampy, he probably won't even wander from it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a giant fucking thing. And yeah, Junes, um, he wants a swamp land that's well stocked with food. And he'll be okay. Sounds like quite wow. an interesting friend you gathered there, Juniper. Does like I mean, does it like fish? We could there's like a river nearby we can get a lot of fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I'll make sure to ask on the way back. Okay. We'll get it figured out. But anyway. This is yeah. So over here, we have um, a nice room that I actually pref I prefer. It's uh, the reading room. We just, Ada and I would sometimes, when we're tired of being on the boat, we'd come here and to spend some time, we just come and read a book. What do you read? Right now, same book I've had for a while. It's just um, just a book on training and taming animals. Ooh, then you surely should go out and see Jerry. He's so friendly, so friendly and so sweet and so easy to like hang out with and like super loyal, though a little smelly, maybe poisonous, but yeah. Like, the smell is poisonous. Yeah! I, I mean... felt like I was going to, like... I felt like my stomach was kind of, like, rolling over itself while I was within the vicinity of it. Kinda to like be fair. Me. So, are these... To, to be fair as is, well. Is... is this Jerry a juniper specific friend or is this cherry a friend to us all i mean it didn't shoot its death ray at us so guess it's a friend a death ray yeah see in addition to the smell when i was fighting one um a light came out of it and i wanted to fucking die from it so you know there's that but um when, when i was talking to them um, as, as long as they have food to eat, they are fine with whoever, it seems. Yeah. He's, he's just like a four-legged version of me. So, just as long as we keep him fed, it's good. I will say, I will say, I will say that indeed Jerry's stench isn't like, uh, it won't hurt you. Um, it, it'll just make you a bit sick. But I, I mean, like, it's not all the time. I'm sure. <laughs> mm. <sighs> he smells I'll, I'll like tell, home. I'll, I'll tell. I'll tell one of my fishermen to uh, to keep a study supply for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, there we go. I mean, there's fish in a swamp, right, June? So I'm sure that's fine. Yeah! 
What a good idea. You're so smart, Ray. <laughs> He's oh, also, Ray. you know, like I said, we're, we're going to keep him, like, on a certain side in a certain section because he, like, his body odor kind of, um, sort of like mine, creates the habitat to become similar. So, you know, we won't put our drinking water near him. But otherwise, super great. So what are the long-term effects? Like, the, when you say habitat, like, does it spread from, like, if he doesn't move? Does the habitat have a radius that it doesn't change? Like, is it going to make our town a swamp? You, you know, I don't know the science on it, but I did. Uh, he did bring that. He, they, what the fuck ever, did bring that up. Said that wherever it is, it makes the place a little wet. Oh, that's good. Mm. Make that for whatever yeah. science there fucking is. I don't know. It's the, the, that's that. Well, we plan to make it kind of a swampy like. Or at least a section of it, right? So it's not an issue. He'll just be in that section. I'm pretty sure we can't farm near it, so that's a definite. We're we're just gonna be we're gonna have a hard line of where it can travel. Otherwise, it's great. It's probably gonna be a great protector too. We just he can walk the the drove the the grove line. I know it was the aim of this town, but it's a very diverse town in terms of biodiversity and forests we have swamps we have forests we have oceans we have uh, rivers i mean we have bray oh Alfred, did you talk to bray lock did you i've never uh, talked to you... him no i i mean uh, did you I, guys I, talk i've to... known him for at least a year i i mean um i just meant like did, did you guys talk to each other and about to him about what happened we met some people um they were really kind and like they want to like forge a relationship with each other because they don't want to be but they seemed really nice and they said that they can show us about farming and all of that but and they were like asking if Ogvar is the king which he is so but yeah did you tell him all that um, <laughs> he'll look at nope. Ogvar you, you made king I mean I, hmm. Yep. King of Millstone. Uh, Millstone is king. Is the mayor. Um, but uh, um, know. Juniper, cr it, crown, crown of plants, right now. Um, oh, I could do that. Okay, as a crown of flowers starts forming around his head, uh, Bogvar will say, um, yeah. I mean, I saw uh, Lila outside. I assume Gilbert would be nearby um but uh we we had a meeting with them and they discussed that they would be happy to join us if we formed some sort of um council that at least one of them could be a part of you know just to get you know uh, uh the people's word up to um you know folks who are um in in charge and make sure their voices are heard and stuff which i was already thinking about i just you know, it's hard to, it's hard to get uh, motivated to do things. Uh, well, and they said, like, that by their numbers, because they're, like, really good at math or something like that, that they're, like, like, Millstone's going to get even bigger. And they're mm -hmm. just, like, we've got to have a structure, which is why Ogbar is king. Um, mm. But, like, and then, like, we'll all be, like, subsets of something else in like a giant political system and John um, um, oh my god uh, Agbar was suggesting like we have um, he wanted people to like talk about it or something yeah um, uh, basically I was um, Lila and, and, and Gil said that basically um, they were like super good at like um, planting and stuff, and you know, we we just have like a little burgeoning farm here, basically. So um, I was gonna have them sort of as a, a, a people of agriculture, and I was just gonna talk around the 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 town and see who would be willing and um, 
be supported in some sort of position like that. And uh, I actually do have a question. Um, do you do you think Ada would be okay with something like that? Um, do you think she'd be good for like something with um, speaking on exports and all that? I can't speak for. It. No, I'm not yeah. asking if she would. I'm not asking you to be like the middleman and be like that. I'm asking if you think she would be a good fit. Oh, boy. For definitely. Uh, she's been one amazing quartermaster, and I don't think I could have gone here safely without her. Okay. So, yeah, you can understand why we're so excited to talk to you about this. I believe that she would be a good fit if you're, you're looking for a leadership of that sort. I I must I must be honest. I thank you for not considering me. I just want to be a part of the, I just I just need to be with the ships. I can't afford to be back and forth like that. Thank yeah, you. I, know, um, that's... I think Ada is a much better fit for that. Yeah, especially Which since it like uh, gives her gives her a single place. If um, you know her her daughter all, ever crops up, she knows there's one place that she's gonna be. Oi, we've been on the lookout for it for her. And anything promising? No, not yet. Mm -hmm. But if you give Ada a, sing a single place to stay. I can't promise you that she'll want to be in one place all the time. But she'll have to assist me on on shipping routes sometimes. But for the moment, I believe that it's a good fit for her. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll, I'll chat with her. We'll 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 figure it out. Um, but uh, let's get off of business and uh, you tell us everything else this year. Hmm. No. Oh, yeah. You got a whole second um, level. And here we are talking about business. Whew. Got a lot. So anyway, here we have the herbs and the uh, <laughs> just the the regular medicinal plants and other other plants of the sorts that we re require. Like what? Like thyme? Thyme, oregano. Um. <laughs> oregano. <laughs> the fuck. I don't get it. Other herbs. Oh. I mean, it's just a funny word to him. But, anyway, um, upstairs is fairly, uh, fairly nice. Let's go. Before we go upstairs, let's take a quick, uh, break right now. Oh, wow. Session. Two minutes. Our Sounds battery. good. Guys, Damn, oregano so. weed? Come on. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> weed, oregano? Come on, guys. I am glad that uh, you're here this session. So you know. Dungeons and Dragons, total nonstop action. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, my reading room. I've been reading uh, Dr. Seuss. He's pretty good. Oh, and by out. the way, we had a we had a political delegation from a neighboring village, and they wanted to Push talk about some socioeconomic futures together. And push us up glasses. Anyway, this is Jerry of yours. Uh, what's his <laughs> diet? <laughs> what, what what kind of ecosystem does he prefer? <laughs> oh my god! Product land. It's good. It's good oh. to have you here, Bray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bray. Dude, I'm, so, I'm so surprised by this house. Like, there's like so much stuff to put in. This in house is fucking like, baller, man. I'm so jealous, man. Dude, I remember, like, I, I was like, I told BG, I was like, I just want a small little hut, nothing big, because like the ship is his main house. Like, it's mainly the ship he's gonna stay on. He has to be so a fucking rude. mansion of a house. <laughs> I, I thought it was like. Oh I yeah, think I think a third of it is just the fucking like floors you got. That's um. 
intricate wood tiling and shit. This this is this is a nice place. It is amazing. Oh, I didn't even see. I didn't even look at the upstairs properly. Look at this fucking sitting room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how Ada's just hey, this. up there in the bedroom. She's sipping wine, waiting for us to arrive. Oh, is that a bedroom? Maybe it's just like a room to knit. Like it's just the lounge area above. It's the throne room. The throne. It does look so like a throne what's room. This, what's this room though? Like I don't know. And, like, it's your these place. Are like, I you don't can know have it. Make, make, it's whatever you, you, you have, want it it's to be. It's the outhouse. You have ten minutes to make it up. Let's go. This is this is God the brig. Damn. This is where you throw all your prisoners. That looks like another prayer room, to be honest. So you have you have a you have a prayer room on each floor. It's very economical. You have another library. It looks like you have shit. You have two bedrooms. Well, the other one was the reading room. He goes up here to get the books, and then he goes downstairs to read ah, them. That's fair. Yes. Yeah. The, this one is going to be the uh, the the map room. I feel like. Ooh, there you go. Like maps and charts, navigation, all that. Just like a mad, I don't know, navigator. Just maps all over the place. What? Well, I don't know what this room is. Like even I, I, right. Well, let's look at this one. Storm. I have no clue. Is it like a therapy room? Like you got the the, the lounge or, chair, or, like? or table in the corner. Or if, if you're 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 some like big important sailor figure, right? So mm. obviously that's that's a throne room upstairs, and so that adjacent room is the waiting room for people who mm -hmm. are coming to talk that's to you in said throne room. You do have or a lot like of merchants seating. and stuff, but like it's a lot of chairs. It'd be good for like an intervention too, you know, if like you know anyone in town needs an that's, intervention, they just lay where right he's there. Interrogation room, okay? That's where he does all of his interrogation. That's just you know, closed off interrogation. Room. Break all the fingers you want. You wouldn't want an interrogation room in the second story of his own house. This is Bray yeah. we're talking about. He doesn't care. He wants to know. He's he he just he <laughs> needs it right next door so he can sleep soundly or trance soundly and and then like in case anything funny gets <laughs> happening, it's like it's right next door. He's on exactly. it. Exactly, exactly. Bray is a sailor who lives inside of a tree. All bets are off with Bray, so he doesn't play by anyone's fucking rules. He it, could have an interrogation true. on the roof if he wants. So it's like no, <laughs> it's... exactly. Maybe that's his alarm system. Oh, they're screaming. He needs to get up. Oh, you know, maybe that's his sound machine for him. You know, that's the only way he can sleep. Ooh, it just has like, to be, like, like, right next door. Like sailor, like, sailor white noise or something, yeah. Yeah, he's all that time as a pirate or with pi pirates and stuff. Like, you just get so used to something. Like, it's best to have the interrogation room nearby. Just in case you can't get to sleep. It makes sense. Mm. <laughs> it makes and like all, right there is a fire pit. You just that's where they roast the fingers. That's why there's so many chairs. <laughs> and it's also and it's also a security system. If someone breaks into your tree and they go upstairs to like attack, they're gonna go toward what they hear. And if they hear a bunch of people screaming on the opposite end from the bedroom, that's where they go first. It's safety. It's true. It's got it's so versatile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I'm looking at or, it kind of like or, it's, a, or it's just a chair storage like the, room. It's the formation of the trees. Like, I love the, I love the, um, like the roundness of it. Like, or like you have to like go through the single corridor just to get through all the way to the bedroom. Like it's like. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's that wall there. Yeah. I just want to talk about my new friend Jerry. Because <laughs> he's in my backyard now. I mean, that's got to do something for like fertilizing the land, right? I'd imagine. I mean, he decimates the land and makes it horribly toxic. But I mean, <laughs> tomato, tomato. Well, I don't know. It's very narratively appropriate, it seems. Right? I'm thinking so. I, we just need a little fence and keep him on his oh, corner. Yeah, that's, that's, holy shit. That, is that is in addition to whatever little fucking you know i don't know little cloud cover amazonia island thing you're going to be doing yeah, for the next grow. year or whatever but um if if you just have if we have jerry like just kind of meander back and forth in like a half moon yeah. from like 
river coast to river coast and like yeah. pollutes the outer rim of millstone as like an additional like security mm-hmm. buffer perfect that's what I said. That's what I suggested to Ogvar, even though he's super reluctant because, oh, we got poisoned by one. Oh, laser beam eyes. Like, that's it. Just have him roam in the grove with these sentient guardian trees. We've got this. No one's coming in Millstone unless they know Man, the secret we got, passage. We got a fucking Ghibli movie town in the making here. <laughs> that's, that's scary. <laughs> the only, I mean, the. Then really the uh, the biggest like def- uh, defense breach is the uh, the the river. Ah, that's true. We we kind of have it made where it's located, honest. Like Millstone is in the perfect little location. It I is. think that just means we need to go to some aquatic place and June's befriends a giant fucking leviathan or something to live in our riverbed. <laughs> uh, it's true that one that she blinded. Just go recruit that one. That's got to be somewhere yeah. still, right? <laughs> Oh, that washed up on shore. Never mind. <laughs> uh, it's Juniper, so it's going to be something like Monster mm. Mushroom Face. It's going to be like a Kelpie. She's going to get a Kelpie. Yeah. Ooh, Kelpies, yeah. We do like octopuses, you know? I don't. I approve of those. I do like octopuses. I still have a bit of trauma from overt octopi usage, but something of the kind. Correct. <laughs> that joke for only half the people I here. I get it. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> but I'm no, not de- not detracting from Bray's household. This is cool. I like this. Good color scheme too. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like a jade and teal, you know, with with the different shades yeah. of um, like hardwood. Good stuff. You're saying you didn't have much input on it, though. You're like, I just want a small house, and BG's like, here's your abode. <laughs> Honestly, I told him, like, I just want a hut. Biggest house in Millstone. <laughs> okay. No, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's it's this is just like this the suite level. There's gonna be like a, it's gonna be a whole apartment apartment complex. You know, it's the the tree as the tree goes up. The tree house gonna... is gonna. You're gonna have like a family home for for people to just come in, like like Forrest Gump. No, no, no. I'm gonna like as like because the tree is gonna grow, right? So as the tree yeah. grows, the, you can add more layers to it and make a car- apartment complexes. I'm just surprised we didn't see this tree. Right. <laughs>
I'm back. Me too. Hi. Well, see, we got. Do we have a Brennan, uh, Lock, Belgos? I'm here. Mm -hmm. Dude, nothing wait makes me more impatient than waiting for Kai art. Hmm? Yeah. Nothing it's uh, gonna be good, so I, I promise. I know, I know it's gonna be good, it's just, I just hate waiting for it. <laughs> you guys are gonna love it. I hope you guys are gonna love it. I love anything coming from you, man, be it bread or whatever you're talking about. Kai. Okay. Stuff from Kai. Ooh. Fucking always. I love anything coming from Kai, so that's a double love. <laughs> uh huh. Looking forward to that. I know. It's. I can't. I'm so impatient. I just. While we are waiting, I will ask for just one question about it, if you will indulge me. So, how many kids? How many kids are you having created for Bray and Ada? Oh my God! <laughs> but it's a family portrait, uh, I assume. Zero at the moment. Zero at the moment. If you can uh, one, if you consider Lupa. Uh Lupa would never surprise. be faxy okay. like that. Yeah, I thought well, that's, yeah, that's was. Lupa was super interesting, I thought. Wait, we have to find Ada's kid first. Then we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. That's... Holy shit, that's right. By proxy, Bray's already a dad. He's stepdaddy. Man. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Bray being a stepdad. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, like I don't give a shit. Well, figure it out because it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Belgos, are you back? I mean, even without uh, Will right now, he's not participating in this little scene that we're having. So let's continue to the top floor. As you take some steps there, and as uh, the footsteps are being heard, you can uh, hear Ada saying, Hello, hello, who do we have here? I hope you're wearing clean shoes. I don't know. Ada! Always. <laughs> as uh, Nina will also greet towards there, although you are going to find yourselves in a different spot. On the other side, right there. But it looks very similar in the decorations and stuff. Some rooms are rather empty right now. They're waiting for some furniture to get added. But overall, it's a very nice place to be. And uh, you get some very nice uh, uh, colors as well. And of course, and there are some windows from which you can get a very nice view. Even onto Millstone. From the top of those trees. This is the tallest tree after all. Wow. It looks so small, but big at the same time from up here. What do you think of Man. the view? I mean, I mean, it sounds, I know that sounded stupid what I said, but like it, no, oh, that's that's fair. Like, and I mean, fucking Ada Br Bray said all this decorating is mainly up to you. I'm not one for fucking style and shit, but it is a nice fucking place. 
Well, I had a say in this for sure, but we actually got to thank uh, the gnomes for that. They have been quite uh, very helpful uh, during the last couple of days. When we added our furniture, they even involved themselves into carrying those to spots around. It helped me a lot. But nonetheless, uh, this is uh, the upper floor. Uh, let me give you a very small tour. Uh, as well, it's not decorated yet, so we have some rooms that are rather empty. We have not decided their purpose yet, but we'll get to see about it. I mean, we're definitely having a guest room for uh, anyone that might join us in the future. Uh, who knows, we might have to host some people. We are obviously organizing some uh, parties and festivities here, so it's better to have yeah. some couple empty beds. Uh, this is a, a small dining room here, some bookshelves for me as well, uh, an office. And uh, of course, we have this uh, little room right here. Uh, I believe this is the jewel of ours. <laughs> it is uh, quite reminiscent oh. of... Uh, oh some shit. Yeah, it uh, actually inspired from some Wheel of uh, Thrones that I've uh, seen in the past. Obviously, I know we're not king and queen or anything, but... We were like, okay, we have the tallest tree in here, and we have a fair share in Millstone, and we are running this uh, little dog thingy, and we might have the emptiest seat having problems with us in the future. So I'm like, okay, let's be a bit intimidating. If they come to us, we'll just greet them here. And uh, yeah, you know, status matters. So I think it would be a good idea. And okay, these are all plain reasons. The main reason is I just like this and I made it like this. Are so, they comfortable? Yeah. What do you think? Have you like tried the chairs out? Are they comfortable? Oh, you wouldn't uh, even imagine. Just sit and relax back. <laughs> Lupa immediately goes on the other one. <laughs> and of course, it has the best view. If you look from this side, you can see all over Millstone. So I'm sure one day it will expand uh, as much, so much that we will be unable to see the end of it. Wow, that's going to be crazy. <laughs> Just imagine. I mean, with this cooperation with uh, gnomes, we might be getting deeper into this uh, forest right here. I mean, uh, how's that going, Ogvar? I wanted to ask you. Um, well, I shared the rumors from them because they're living so much nearby, so close. Uh, well, uh, it's going all right. Um, I mean, we talked with them and uh, they said they were pretty all right with, um, I said, of course, they didn't have to, but they were okay with um, merging if it meant that, um, they had some sort of say in what was happening here. Um, I'm sort of putting together a, a, a council for um, that sort of thing. Um, I was actually wondering, um, I asked Bray, and he said you'd be really great at it. Um, I was wondering if you know you, you'd be willing to uh, be on that for like a, 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 the port master sort of deal, you know? Oh. Um, I don't know how I should think about that. I... I... I'm honored. I I like this. But what happens in case I'm a, I'm away on a mission or something? I mean, you cannot take me away from the sea for long. You know it. Mm, that's true. Um, uh, you honestly, have someone I else I let in command while I I'm on my absence. I mean. I'm I'm not planning on leaving for long or anything. I don't have any plans for now, for sure. But I'm sure eventually the call of the sea will be heard once more. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, if you could like have a trust advisor, I guess. I, I, I it's just, I, like. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't even know who I would like. Who else I would pick? Because um, anyone who has been to sea so long that they know all the things about it. Uh, they're gonna want to be on the sea for quite a while. Uh, what about you know. what about Shipmaster Lavoie? He doesn't necessarily go out to sea too much. I honestly don't even know why he's here. I thought 
he's is he building our fleet? I I thought he had like an entire job on that pirate island. Essentially, but if we can hire him, why not? <laughs> Don't worry about the ship master. I'm sure he's very much invested in Milton right now. He's sending some mails frequently. Uh, I don't know if uh, those uh, seagulls and pigeons are going to ever arrive in that far north, uh, but he really seems to believe so. Uh, but uh, final thing, I think he's very much invested in the docks here, and uh, he has a little rivalry with uh, the architect debris, but I don't see him going anywhere anytime soon. However, I think I have the perfect uh, man for you. Uh, Bray, do you, do you recall Aerith? That... Uh, White-headed man that I met uh, met you on uh, on the docks the previous day. Oh, I. No, I. What? That one used to be an old crew member. I we used to sail together. He's very much knowledgeable of anything of docks like. But since uh, uh, an adventure that he had a couple of years ago, he's been afraid to sail on the seas. Uh, himself, it's not like he holds a grudge to the sea, but. I believe he is uh, is hunted by something. Uh, nonetheless, uh, that doesn't matter at all. It, it means that he is a very knowledgeable person. He's a trusted ally. He has a lot of respect for me. And of course, uh, soon enough, he will have for Brennan and the rest of you here. He has been stationed in the city and he's not selling any time. So I believe he would be perfect for this uh, little council. Don't you think so? I trust you. If you believe so, I, then I believe so too. What do you what, what do you say, Ogvar? Give him a try. Who is it? His, his name is Iris. You know what? I'm going to introduce you to him uh, uh, later today. All right? Oh, okay. He's he's a good man. A bit believer of fate and luck at times. A little bit of a gambler, I might say. But uh, he's very knowledgeable of the seas. He knows all of the routes and the cartographer's charts. And uh, he knows about trading, bargaining. He's... Trust me. He, he's good. Mm. From Zulport. <coughs> mm. Okay. Um, the chart comes looking from there, so maybe they're... I don't know. Um... Akbar seems uh, a bit on edge ever since uh, they said that Lavoie was sending word back to the pirate island. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, I'd sure like to meet him if, you know, that was something we can do. Um, but we don't have to do that, like, right right away, I guess. We got a lot to think about. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We've got time. So, shall we get to food? Uh, sure. <laughs> Let's get down. To the ground mm. floor. Mm. And thus you are going to have a little uh, bit of a festivity here with some uh, nice plates, some cooked by Brennan from his little guilty pleasure of uh, cooking uh, around here. Uh, Ada will uh, make some small dishes, some uh, fish and some other stuff around, uh, but nothing that much important to linger by. As amidst uh, your little commotion, you are going to hear the door knocking. Uh-oh. I, I'm gonna go get it, as Ada goes there. She opens, uh, and you are going to hear this same Gnomish voice. And uh, pardon me for the intrusion, but may I speak to uh, Mr. Uh, Zalapant Locke? Uh, did I pronounce the name correctly? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I asked around. The fuck Ooh, do you know that name? First of all, Veej, uh, I don't think anyone has said Zalapanj outside the group. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, you know, you know, that's... <laughs> okay, that's yeah. an extremely good point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Ooh. that. Ooh, boy. Angry. <laughs> how do you... uh, wait, how do you 
Hey, I'm rolling with it. How the fuck do you know that name? Um, I, 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 someone, I, I just, and I think uh, told me that it's, you have that tattoo because it was a family name or something. I, I don't recall. Uh, sorry, do you go just by luck? Oh, <laughs> right. <clears throat> um, it, yeah, just just lock, but yeah, yeah, just just second. Yeah. Lock looking very embarrassed leaves the room. <laughs> well, Too many drugs. Turn back to the table. As Lila will say, uh, Miss, Mr. Lock, can I talk to you a bit in private? It's about Nina. No, yeah, I was actually going to um try to swing by when we were leaving because I noticed something, but yeah, that was fine. As, uh, you know, she wouldn't go outside, just to another room. Let's go to that one straight over here. I will say, uh, oh, uh, I was never good at uh, hiding my feelings and expressions. I, I don't know exactly what's been going on with her, but can see that she has some kind of uh, just tell me it's it's not a normal sickness right i i can see it it's something like a curse i can feel it i've i've known someone that had something uh, similar as as she was starting to talk locks are getting pretty fucking annoyed just because of the state he's in, but also it's a Nina thing, but just knowing it could possibly lead to something good, he's going to try to tamp it down. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, something like that you could say. It's... No, it's not normal. I mean... I... I... I want to tell you something, but... Uh... I want you to please not get mad at us. Uh, it's it's weird, but when we talked to you the other day, uh, to you and Mr. Kara and uh, Miss Juniper and everyone about uh, us joining your little town and all, there was actually one thing that we did uh, conceal from the conversation uh, we had a good reason to though uh, I mean we were not just uh, caring for our own people uh, of course we do care about our own people a lot uh, but there is something else in the forest that we care much about uh, there is a creature <coughs> we we call it the forest master. It doesn't show itself to most people. But uh, its aura, its presence, greatly benefits everyone surrounding. My brother, when he was young, he was uh, cursed by a vile green hag. And he was uh, very sick, close to dying, unable to get out of bed, and uh, much, uh, much less do any kind of meaningful work. We were all very much scared. And uh, it was at that point that the forest master embarked on our blades and... Uh, changed his place of living to this uh, place. Then, all of a sudden, things started happening around. The squirrels, the insects, the birds, they were all more playful. Wildfires were no longer a thing. It was like, like a sacred aura protected the forest. But more importantly, the aura protected the creatures in it. My brother, he started getting better. 
started to stand on his legs, doing uh, manual work, and uh, had no issues. We began thinking that it might have been something like an illness, and it just, it just uh, bared through it. But it came to our understanding that it wasn't the case. Some years later, he left the forest for a journey towards our own heaven. And guess what? The illness returned. It was the same, exactly like it was. And the only way that it was cured is by his return here. We then came to understand that the forest master was a blessing. And uh, it was able to suppress any kind of illnesses and curses within this area. As Lila says it, you're going to overhear from the dining room as they are conversing. Nina making a wholehearted laughter a little bit. You haven't heard her laugh in the last couple of days. It's going to warm you a little bit inside for a moment. Give you a little bit more belief in this. Obviously, um, I know that uh, curses might be quite bold to deal with. But uh, if you were to befriend the forest master and convince him of your well-being in Millstone, perhaps he could manifest his uh, aura all around the town. And I, I mean, we were thinking of uh, telling you about this in the future, but seeing uh, the life of uh, one in peril just made me just go ahead and do this. I, I have not told Gilbert yet about this, but I can assure you he will be in line with this. You're not mad at me, right? No, no, I'm, <clears throat> I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'm just generally mad these days, but no, I, I appreciate, <clears throat> appreciate the information. Um, forest master. So, fuck. So I just need to go talk to this thing and convince it to just hang out nearby. And, and that's gonna fucking do it. Uh, it. It's a bit more complicated than that, but not that much. I mean, uh, it's not to convince him to just move nearby. Convince him that uh, your people uh, not mean to threaten the nature around. I mean, Urbanization uh, has been a thing of the last couple of years. Uh, elves and gnomes most of the time meddle with the forest in good and benevolent ways, but a lot of humans do not. Some do. And there are amazing druids from all kinds of people are all over the world. But you just go to, to make sure that uh, the nymphs of the forest the holy trees around, and everyone in general that has a spirit inside there gets to live a nice fate. Uh, you promise, perhaps promise the forest master that you're going to have uh, 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 druids qualified to talk with the spirits of nature and make sure that uh, those spirits are uh, not having any issue with your uh, moving here. I can assist. I mean, I'm something of a druid myself. Uh, my uh, Gilbert as well, and uh, other forest gnomes, of course, can uh, aid in that. But the forest master has to meet you. Uh, it cannot be just an empty promise from someone else about you. I 
think I know of a place to dig up a druid around here, but... You know, I am... want to trust in things that seem too easy to be true, but... I have, um, a vested interest to try what I can. <clears throat> so, um, so where is this forest master? Hmm. As, uh, she opens that, uh, small door, gets a little bit outside, she will point towards the south and a little bit towards the uh, west. Yes. There is a path heading uh, southwest, just uh, outside these little uh, hou tree houses. If you do not lose track of it, at the end of it you are going to see a small stream. Follow it and you will end up in a glade inside the Dunstall Thicket. Well, when you see that glade, you are going to glade. You are going to understand. This is the home of the forest master. Oh, and, and one thing, uh, if you go there, make sure you're a bit uh, calm yourself and the rest. Fake creatures tend to be quite the pranksters. <laughs> well, that's going to have to do some work. All right, well... Last time I followed a stream to a magical forest person, I lost an eye, so hopefully this turns out better. Um, alright. Yeah. Oh, that, that thing you said about, like, forest spirits and shit around Millstone, is that something we need to do before that? I mean, it's something to do in the present. And in the future, mm. uh, I know you are going. You have committed a lot to Millstone, and uh, we're really surprised by this. And we really love this opportunity to get together with you. Uh, everyone we've met in Millstone, each one has their amazing stories and their past. And I'm not talking only about you, the ad the adventurers. I'm talking about the the most plain commoner one would imagine. This one has a nice story in the background behind besides them. And I wish that this community evolves into something even greater, and even bigger, and whoever wants might join. We're going to be part of this, but we want to be part of this in the best possible way. And uh, respecting the nature around, I believe that is the, ma the best possible way. Just because <coughs> animals cannot speak doesn't mean that they don't have uh, feelings. No, I've, I've certainly learned that recently. Um, all right. Okay. Sorry for the intrusion. Uh, I mean, feel free to go for the first master. I assume you will, but I understand if you want to take some time to think about it. I don't believe the first master is going anywhere. And I'll, I'll see you around. I, I really wish the best for Nina. Or anyone. No one deserves such a fate. No, um... No, no, no thank, thank you for letting me know about that. That's <laughs> definitely a very good thing to know. But if, if you don't mind, just don't go... I mean, not that you would have reason to, but I... For not to have everyone know Nina is um having a bit of trouble right now. I'll I'll be discreet. I'll keep it low. Okay. Thank you. As uh, Lila will smile and will exit the room. As he's passing by the rest, I'll say, Bon appetit! 
as he smiles a little bit and uh, exits the door from the treehouse. What do you think that was about? I don't know. Maybe the same thing that you, we talked about a while ago? Maybe. Maybe maybe she was just making sure that, like, you know, she, he wasn't, like, super angry at her because he did, like, seem sort of... Yeah, that's true. Maybe you should go find Locke and see, you know. True. I mean, I, it's not like I'm eating, I guess. guess I so. got it for you. Ogbar scoots his plate over to Juniper and we'll look for Locke. Walks around the big house, getting lost for a couple minutes. Fuck. <clears throat> oh, um, what's up? Through here. Yeah, uh, I mean, you didn't come out with Leela or anything, so I was just coming to check up on you. Make sure she didn't say anything that, like, made you blow up. <clears throat> no, no. Um, sorry, I was just, uh, <clears throat> thinking of stuff. There's nothing to be sorry about, I think, all the time. Sometimes I think I should think a bit more. Um, you good, though? Yeah, I'm good. And, um... We got a bit of walking to do in a couple hours. Oh, um, okay. Um, I can move some stuff, I guess. If, we, if you want to go for a walk, that's cool. Yeah. Um, like just the town or. Locks on to kind of just point out in the direction to the over the forest top. Nope. Somewhere in there. Oh, okay. And, um, we're doing it fucking soon. Like, soon as it, uh, uh, like, today. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, why the fuck not? Um, uh, is there a. A reason for that particular direction or fuck um hey when we get back to the houses I'll circle back with you but don't mention anything right now okay you think about how to go about this okay um, no problem. Just don't say anything. That's like, I mean, that's super easy for me. Oh, for fuck's sake, I know who I'm talking to. All right, listen. Well, I, I, I could stay quiet. No, 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 no. shut up. Listen, listen. So what's, what's her face? The short, the short girl just said, um. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's some fucking wood spirit <clears throat> that blesses places for this presence or some bullshit but fact of the matter and why I fucking care is this might be a way to alleviate some of the issues me and this been having recently and now you want me to be quiet about it now I want to talk about it you're gonna be quiet about it because I because oh I still don't know how she'd take that. All right. You can know she'd be like us going through troubles to try to help her and shit. You know. It's I gonna be significantly harder now, but I will do my best. <sighs> 
Um, I mean, the, the thing yeah, is, she, 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 see, she didn't want to make a big deal out of how she's feeling with everyone. All right. And mm -hmm. it's pretty easy to see that she's not in a great place right now, but she doesn't want to make a big fucking deal in front of everyone because she's Nina. So I, I don't know if this is something to do without her knowing in case it goes sideways and nothing fucking comes of it. But even then, it's just... I, I, I don't know. I just feel like something good can come of this. So I want to do it fucking now. But I... it. What she said is, I go talk to this thing, try to make a case that Millstone's good for the fucking environment or something. And if I pull it off, it'll be able to bless our fucking town, which in turn will help Nina. Okay, I mean, that's cool with me. Uh, I mean, yeah, that, that's great. I got no objections. Yeah. So, I just need you on board as well, but again, we've been trying to make it seem like nothing's been going on with Nina. She's just in a place right now. So when we get back to the house, we're going to come back here and scoop up Bray and get the fuck out. Sound good? Yep, I'll just, I'm not going to, just, I'm just not going to bring it up at all. Like, uh, I, I'll, we'll talk about uh, uh, woodwork or something for the rest of the meal. Of our... Do you not want to talk about... Okay. <sighs> Look, just... Just, just give me some time to think about that and just keep that close hold, okay, bud? Okay. I trust you, Ogbar. I, I know, I, I know, I know, I, I know, and I, yeah, I, I won't say anything. I mean, if Juniper asks, I can't lie. But I'm sure she won't ask. Is is omission a lie? I mean, I guess not. There you go. Come on. Okay. Hey, Locke. Hey, Akbar. How'd it go? What did the lady want to talk about, Locke? She just wanted to, again, apologize for she felt like I did something to yell at her when she visited. Fuck, was it today, yesterday? What the fuck time is it? Uh, that was like uh, right in the morning. It was still the day. Fucking gods. Anyways, yeah, just because she's near, she just wanted to see if she said anything wrong to offend me, but it's, it's all right. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Nothing bad. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I... Sometimes I also forget that I put my fucking name on my head, but you'll get that, I guess. Yeah, that could be an issue. Um, so, uh, about Jerry... Mm hmm. Why don't we take Bray to show him Jerry? I mean, it'd be good I've to be. I've been talking him, right? him up this Bray? whole time. Yeah. We should make sure Jerry knows all of the exclusive, important people. That, plus, I guess I could just also talk to him again to see how. <laughs> see how <laughs> things are going for him being here. Oh, after... yeah! Yeah, after like walking through after walking through a tree and appearing fucking somewhere else yeah we can see how quickly uh he he makes things moist too like we can um you know do a little scientific stuff and see how how uh, so cute. You know. right and if if fish is a decent primary mm. to a uh, a human secondary in terms of food 
dietary restrictions is also a very good subject. Um, speaking of dietary restrictions, uh, can I have some more of this pot roast spray? Of course. It's pretty good. Of course. Go for it. Can I, can I also have the recipe later? It would be my pleasure. Hey, thank you. So, about this journey, let's. I I'm kind of on the same page as Jennifer. Let's uh, let's go see this before. It, yeah. You, I don't know. Okay. And thus, mm. back to Milton. Uh, Jerry is uh, right out there on top, as Bogos has uh, just finished his ceremonial rites after several hours. I mean, it's one hour. Probably for body <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, Ada will not uh, follow. She will do some tours here and go to the street later on. But nonetheless, the rest of you are going to be seeing Jerry. Jerry! One lock. How conversation? Is that? It's Jerry! Yeah. That's or, Jerry. Or or something. I'll, I'll find out soon. Just give me a couple minutes to focus. We were told it's something sort of like a hippo, but uh, it doesn't... The frog people weren't too great at, like, uh, describing what it was, I feel. I think... More like a, a, a weasel horse. Doesn't like seem ferret. like an... Ah, not a ferret. It's got hooves and and looks like a ferret. I think it's um. just like, just like, well, like those cows over there. Maybe like a boar. You know, like a boar elephant. <sighs> Maybe. Hmm. I wonder if that circus is gonna come around. Do you think they'll visit Millstone? Um. The what? Maybe. The that circus, circus we got a key thing. from. Where did that idea come from? Well, I was just thinking about how it kind of looks like a rhinoceros with the tusks, but I was like, wait, no, rhinoceros is one. And then I was like, oh, rhinoceros. I like rhinoceroses. Oh, we gave the rhinoceros. Oh, they seem to like rhinoceros because the the bone, the cane that I gave you, and then you gave that away. And I was like, oh, that was a good time. And then I was like, oh, they didn't need that rhinoceros at the time. And like maybe they have a couple other animals like that, and then we could just give them to Jerry. I like how in that whole rabbit hole of thought, you glossed over paying for the rhino to subsequently kill it. Yeah, but, but yeah. Gonna, it was going to die anyway. Uh, anyway. You have to talk, it, Locke. You got to make <laughs> friends with him, too. Um, while, while Locke's doing his ritual, can I check the surrounding area and see if um, any swampification has already started occurring? Each. Are we doing no. this question? While Locke's doing his ritual, could Ogvar have like looked around and seen if like Jerry has swampified anything yet, or if it's gonna take a bit longer? He's going a scientific it's route, sorta. Take a bit longer for sure. You cannot uh, feel anything yeah. getting swampified. Mm, doesn't There's look too swampy yet. Smelling some trees here and there, some grass on the ground. But you can see him, it's going like, oh, being a bit hungry. It, does Didn't it sound it... like an animal or is it, does it actually just sound like a man groaning? <laughs> oh, come on, Jeremy. Jennifer, give me a nature check, one more. Got it. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> Wow. Bad nature check. Oh, 
this is mostly about its uh, diet. You wouldn't really know if it's uh, omnivore, or carnivore, or anything. You are unsure. And uh, what, what did you ask? Sorry. Oh no. You didn't. I was just informing the group that it uh, it hasn't swampified anything yet, and that it would probably take it longer. All right. Hey, um, uh, uh, fuck it. I'll just ask. Um, hello again. Um, uh, fuck. Um, how, how do you like it here? Uh, uh it's good, but I see nothing to eat. I want people. No, we no no. We will get I, things to eat. Fern, do you have fern? Oh. Oh, I, yeah. Fuck. I'm surprised I that didn't come before people. Okay. Um. Up. Uh, 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 okay. Yes. Yes. Fern. Um. Actually, I, I think red here can make them pretty fucking positive i don't know um before that i have two questions do you eat fish do you know what a fish is well, fish I haven't tried a lot of fish fish in Bombo were very small <clears throat> okay but um hey og og go go uh, pull a fish out of the water with your fucking brain okay I'm sure it's not hungry right now. I'm sure it's okay. And there's these trees that it can well, gnaw on for a bit. Yes. Um, yeah, Junes. Well, he's doing that. Um, can you... <sighs> Fucking magic. Can you grow a fern right now? Is that a plant thing you can do? Uh, I mean, I guess. I, I hope the answer is yes, because he's getting people hungry. Getting people hungry already. Why don't I just bring a cow? Well, he, he also said ferns, which is why I'm asking. Can can you grow a fern? I mean, yeah, I can grow a fern. Can, oh, can what? You? Can you tell it that Bray's got some wonderful stew? Bray, do you have any stew with you? Maybe I can give it some stew. Yeah, really Stu doesn't really. Stu, I, Stu isn't really wild grown, though. I'm trying to work no, with this thing one. here. Oh. To bring Stu with me. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, oh, I got some. I got. Well, I got some stuff in my pockets I can give it. Can you grow a fern, Junes? Uh, yes, I can grow a fern. Please grow a fern in front of me. Oh. But I'm like so tired. Juniper, he's going to start eating people. Please grow a fern. Okay. Your well... your 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 bed is just a couple dozen feet that way. Just please grow a fern. <laughs> I, it just I we were like we've already traveled so much. It just takes so much out of me. Oh my god, you, you just you just want to be no, okay. So she can grow a fern. She's just herself right now. Um, yeah, she's probably hungry right now. So. This looks good. Want the fish? Give me uh, the fish. This uh, thing. Uh, uh, yep. Throw it, Og. He, wa he wants it. Throw the fish, Og. Okay, I'll throw the fish. I'll throw the fish at Jerry. And Jerry will immediately bounce the rock with the uh, opening of his fangs. He's going to swallow it just whole. Aww. Great catch, Jerry. Jerry will look at Locke and will say, "Fish here seem good, but uh, I want fern at least once a week, or I eat people." All right. Good, good deal. I, I'd like to say I could promise something so trivial for a druid, 
but I apparently can't, so I'm working on that. Um, okay, yes. Fern, Fern and Fish, we, we got you. Um, do you have a name? What's a name? Right. Um, something others call you. A, a word, no. normally. No. Uh, I hate, I hate this fucking question. How does Jerry sound? Different. That's, that's as much as I could hope for. That, that is your name. <laughs> Alright. Uh, fucking I'm fantastic. You, you, Jerry, me, Locke, and etc. Um, Junes, how's the fern coming? Ah, uh, <laughs> she'll <laughs> like, get to her knees. And uh, she'll, I, I'll just, you know, I'm, and she'll, <laughs> she'll start. Mm -hmm. Kind of rumbling as she's on her knees, like cast uh, plant growth. I hopefully that burns right, but it should just like overwhelm the area, and then it's got a lot to gnaw on. It really just wants fern. So, fer ferns at least once a week. He he knows measurement of time, at at least so that's something. Wow. Ferns once a week. Ah. Plenty of fish. Jerry's and he smart. won't eat people. And I say that sounds like a good fucking deal. So. Yay! Does yeah. Jerry want a job by any chance? I think he'd be excellent yeah, for like. But, but, but baby steps, Junes. We're, we're getting him not to eat everyone in town right now. Okay, okay, okay. How does he I, like I, owl bears? Is he cool? Is he cool with owl bears? Do I need to keep he inside? Like, I mean, he yeah. should be fine, right? Just because of the size difference right now, I think I know the answer currently. So we'll keep Key on this side of the fence line, let's say. Yeah. We better get on that. We better build that fence. Yeah. I, I can almost assure idea. you, if Jerry wants to get out of the fence, he's going to get out of the fence. Yeah, so. The, the fence, June's the fence being... You growing a bunch of ferns right here. Or maybe it'll be like sort of like an elephant situation where you can put like um a chain around the elephant's foot and eventually they'll just think that they can't escape. <laughs> I, was, I don't know how it works. I didn't know you knew so much about elephants, but okay. That's if you wanna do that, Akbar um let's do that. You know? Just a, a friendly I like maybe a vine or something around it. Friendly, huge, bulky train. Um, yeah. We'll see. As All long right, as he's so... well fed, he probably won't notice, right? Well. So, <laughs> so yeah, Ray. This is this is Jerry. He uh, doesn't care about the name, so that's his fucking name now. Um, he <laughs> he um. Does he respond? He... To I don't fucking know, man. I'm I'm doing my best here. I, I'm I'm, I'm talking I'm talking to a giant fucking God's knows what. All right, I, I'm trying it to get it not to kill everyone. So, I I think I'm winning. Yeah, I mean, doing good so far. You, but, but yeah, I think we should have more than just one fern. Oh, a thousand percent. But um, <laughs> that's that that falls up to June's. I mean, I, I've made, I, that's fine. I can do more than one. Can you? I, I, I don't want, I don't want to put you out trying to appease the people eating monster you brought to our town. Just, just putting the option out there. I'm just saying, I'm just like, you know, I'm tired and there's cows right over there. But I think, and you know, I mean, what's with it? We can use the chain if that's what will help it, but I'm, I don't know. But I can do... That's fine. I did it. I got all the fur. So, okay. Just just to assuage this right now. King Ogvar. 
of millstone um what's 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 the um i'm gonna ask a question you probably already know the answer to what's the fishing situation in town right now are people assigned to netting fish or some bullshit i mean we have fishermen by trade in town uh yeah all right well they if if they want to keep their souls within their bodies they have some more fishing work to do okay i'll see if i can talk to them about a tithe or something but yeah so bray this is jerry yeah what since oh, i'm oh, fucking please. what am i gonna what we yeah, what wait, what am i wait. what tell jerry <laughs> Tell Jerry that he can walk my grove, and if anybody who can't get through the grove comes through, he can just eat those people, too. Those are free game. So, Millstone being a place um, where dejected denizens can come for shelter, come in unannounced, they will get eaten okay. by Jerry. Uh, well, Juniper, your, your grove only attacks, like, specific people, right? Or is um, it everyone? No, it's only specific people. See. People I deem friendly. Yeah, so if, if Jerry sees the Grove attacking something, then that's safe, right? Jerry can understand yeah. that, right? He knows what a week yeah. is. Boy. If the trees are eating it or hitting it, then he can go for it, and it's a free meal. Even Key knows that. Locke's going to sit down. <laughs> I'm going to test and see if Jerry understands his name. And we'll say, hey, Jerry, while he's eating the fern. Jerry will eventually get used to it. As you say that, he's going to look upward a little bit, but then continue. <laughs> eventually, that's going to lead to domestication becoming a little more obedient and helpful around. Good, Jerry. <sighs> oh, gods. All right, Jerry. Um, you can feel free to walk through the forest. It is your home. Um, Juniper, the red one, is, when she's not too fucking tired, is going to try to put more food and swamp in it for you. Um, if you see any of the trees attacking people, which is something else that this town can do. Um, feel free to try to eat those people. Uh, I prefer it, fern, but if it is, uh, good. A, if it is a, an order given by you, I will eat people. Oh. <laughs> What do you say, Lock? Uh, just, just one. Um, in, in that case, just you can stay away from people if you want. There will be plenty of ferns for you. Yeah, Og. Uh, he he says he's he's good with that. All right, cool. What a good Jerry! I'm so glad that we made a new friend in all of this. This is such a fucking weird day. <laughs> oh man, I haven't even shown him to, to to Nina yet. Nina's gonna love this. Brayden is gonna look at Jerry. Um and he's gonna start to talk to Jerry. Excuse me. Big big friend here. Do you just out of curiosity, do you understand the concept of protection of allies? Or do you understand with animals? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue what you were saying, or do you end your sentence there? Do you understand what it means to protect something? Wow, way to insult his intelligence. I wouldn't want to hear Jerry's response. I protect Fern. I like Fern. Protect Fern. Fern. Okay, understand that we 
these people can get you fern please make sure to not hurt these people so you can continue to get fern uh, i won't hurt red red brings fern no red no fern no red no fern yes got it so it's a good saying I like that saying. And she'll look over at Juniper over his shoulder and says, Well, he understands that you he needs you now. Yay! <laughs> this is a good day. We've made so much progress. Yep. Ask him if he can do that death ray thing all the time. Oh, no. I, um... I, I don't really want to ask that. Okay. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> is uh, does Jerry get lonely? Does Jerry need friends or anything? Jerry seems fine, right? Because if Jerry needs a friend, then he's got Key. I'm sure Key would be happy to hang out with Jerry. Juniper, do you want to go get Key? Hogwarts, will you go get Key? Yeah, I, I can do that. Yes, ma'am. Yay! Um, as I'm walking to get key, can I check on Croak? Is he is he any more warped than he was prior? No, it's just the same, exactly. He's still tentacled, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah more croak. Okay, puts Croak back in his pocket. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm sure as long as we make sure that they meet right now, then everything is okay and I don't have to worry about anything while we're gone and stuff. Exactly. What do you think, Bray? You're around animals. You know, maybe we should have brought Lupa. Lupa should have met. What if Lupa freaks out? Lupa will be alright. Okay. Lupa is pretty smart. Not that he's not that smart, but I mean... You know, he can also be territorial, but very friendly too. I just don't know how she reacts, like, you know, seeing the cows and the donkeys and stuff like that. Mm. Maybe we should hire somebody to just want. Nah, maybe that's too much. It's fine. I'm sure Kayana doesn't mean babysitting the baby and Key and Jerry. Oh, now you had an idea that was too much? After all fucking this, what was your idea? I was just gonna say, like, you know how Shar always like hires people to do things. Um, I was like, maybe we should hire somebody to watch over, like, Key and and Jerry, and just make sure that he's definitely eating ferns and fish and not people. But maybe that's overkill. I mean, a a veterinarian wouldn't be a bad idea. And we can hire What's them that? to a doctor for animals. Oh, like a druid? Maybe I should have brought that 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 homeless druid from the swamp too. I don't think he really wanted to leave though. But in the when they're not healing animals, they can watch over the ones we have here. We seem to be having a growing hmm. collection of them. I think that's a really good idea. I mean... Man, I mean, it's so big. Like... This is... I, I'm just so grateful that we... That Jerry decided to come with us. This is so great. This is so helpful to Millstone. Jennifer, uh, do you mind if I ask... What do you plan to do with Jerry? Well, nothing really. I just wanted just have a him friend. Another pet. Yeah. J Jerry is here. Plan complete. Yep. <laughs> I just thought, you know, Jerry's really nice and like, and you know, so nice. We hung out in the swamp, and it just seems like the right thing to do. I feel like Jerry and I have a bond, kind of like how me and Key have a bond. And like it was meant to be, we were fated. 
And so I I just I'm just happy that Jerry's here now. And Jerry can do whatever he wants within some means. You know, I don't want him eating people and stuff. But man, isn't it great? Because he can definitely walk the 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 grove around Millstone. <sighs> That's just so smart. That makes me feel so safe now. I wonder if this is how the circus picked up Key in the first place. You think? Brayden will look over at Jerry. Would you let Ride Red Ride do? Why did you ask that, Bray? <laughs> I like not getting ridden. <laughs> Juniper, you're out of luck. He doesn't want to be ridden. Aww. That's okay. I get more fern if I let her. You do get more fern if you let her. So I many ferns! Let me see. As, uh, the, as Jerry will look at Juniper. <laughs> he says Balls in your court, him, Junes. He says if you feed him more fern, you, you get to ride him. Oh, that's so tempting right now. But I feel like Ogvar might not be too happy about that, considering... I'm pregnant. <laughs> Another time, Jerry. You and I, we have a date walking the, the the coastline together with lots of fern. She says she understands and she'll never ask again. <laughs> <laughs> no more fern. So many Oh no, fern. you'll 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 get fern, don't worry. Man, how crazy is it going to be if Jerry wanders over and he peeps into our little windows? We could have a little Jerry window. That's a fantastic idea, Juniper. You, you should do that as a surprise <laughs> for Ogbar. Let, let, let Debris know. Hmm. I Speaking might. of, Ogbar! Where is Key? After an undetermined amount of time, Ogbar arrives with Key. Come on, come on. He's being uh, her teenage face. <laughs> <laughs> Drags her by her back paw. He is not uh, making any effort at all to walk towards this location. <laughs> but okay. Please, all this is distant. I think this is Key. as far as it's going. <laughs> Key, I brought a friend for you. His name is Jerry. He immediately sits Jerry and uh, gets into combat position, <laughs> five feet back. No, no, no! Rather uh, aggressive. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's, uh... Jerry is. Uh... Be careful around Jerry. He's no, friendly esque. Jerry doesn't seem to have noticed Key yet. Bray, uh, introduce Jerry to Key. Yeah, make sure he doesn't eat Key. Uh, Brandon will <laughs> look between Jerry and then Key, and uh, uh, he'll say it out loud. But Jerry, by the way, that's her name. If you haven't learned it yet, Jerry. This is friend. Do not attack. Uh, even though annoying. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, eat. No. no eat. Friend. No eat. If it attacks. No uh, eat. It just, just like swat it, but no eat. No That's kill. Right. No kill. Mm. Okay. But I need more fern. More fern. Man, what three, a good fucking... Three. Like, good negotiator. 
<laughs> Three fern. Three fern. <laughs> it can count! <laughs> Alright, Junes. <laughs> If you want key to not be food, make three fern right now. I just, I just did this. I did a hundred feet. So he should be happy. Please. Oh, look at all that fern. <laughs> I, I, I must, must have missed it while looking at the big fucking monster in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we probably should like make sure that when you start growing that orchard, uh. It's not wandering there. But I'm telling you, I think that he would be great for the job. If you just give him some more fern, I bet he could till a garden for you guys. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he'd be great for, like, hay rides. Like, we put a cart on him. And he could take everybody kind of, like, some... around the place. He poisons the ground. That's just like when he's in defense mode. I think he's fine though. It's he's just like me. Yeah. That does that not mean he blights the ground. Wow. Juniper doesn't blight the ground. Blight? What a weird people. word to associate with her. It'll be fine. Any anyways. Yes, Jerry is not going to eat key because he has fern. I'm gonna keep it so fern luscious. Well, don't don't give him too much fern. I mean, like keep it within the contract, right? Yeah. I mean, I think he's okay. He's super loyal. He's like he's like Lupa, super duper loyal. It'll be fine. Hey, Lupa, for her loyalty. I think I need to. Uh, hmm. I think I need to train Key a bit more so she's a little bit more loyal. I guess that's. Tr she does run a lot. I mean, that's your job, right? Yeah, yeah, I got. It. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you know, on her ear a little. You, you know, though, I'm I'm looking at the sun, and it looks like it's about 15 minutes to fully setting. So, oh, with yeah. with with Jerry aside, there's something that I wanted to talk to y'all about real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess two. Um, Agvar, thank you. Um, June's sorry for lying to you, but so what? Um, what what was her fucking name, Og? Leela. Leela, sure. Her the um the the short one that came in while we were eating. Um she wanted to let me know that somewhere due south of Bray's fucking tree mansion, um, there is a kind of forest okay. <sighs> what a fucking weird day. There's a kind of forest spirit thing that's out there that if you get on his good side blesses the area that you're in and apparently by doing so alleviates any sicknesses of the people in that place and well just due to some circumstances right now I want to go fucking talk to the thing do it! That sounds wonderful! Yeah, um... Yeah, not to... I understand that's all a pretty short explanation, but... This thing called a... Forest Master, I believe it was. If we can... Uh, fuck, I guess convince it... That... Millstone being in the in the fucking plant place that it is is good for the trees and the fucking spirits of the earth or some bullshit that um it will possibly kind of bless this area in turn and I don't know it just seems fucking good like no sickness and shit 
definitely seems like a powerful ally being a master of a forest. So basically we're just telling it to move here? Something like that. It's what I kind of got from her. It's basically saying, hey, in this once empty place that's just for plants and animals, we started building a town in it. We are respectful mm. of the land and the animals and shit and the spirits of whatever that linger around are um, uh, considered and appreciated. Is that something you can do, Junes? Can you talk to fucking forest ghosts? Oh, I can sure try. I mean, I don't. I mean, of I haven't ever done can. it before. Of course she can. She can talk to trees. I can talk to plants. Easy. She can talk to you anything. know. Fuck. Good enough. Um, ask that tree if it's good with us being here. I don't fucking know, guys. Just <laughs> that's what I was told. All right. Choose track Leela with us then? I mean, she's the one who told me. I, I seems fine. I mean, like, are we dragging Nina to the tree? I thought you said Leela. Um, no. Well, I was just saying, we can drag Leela to the tree to show us that she tells us exactly what to do, but also we could bring Nina to the tree if the tree is the one that alleviates all the pains and stuff, or are we asking the tree to actually come to Millstone? No. Either way, we'd swing okay. Oh, okay. I, I don't think there's a tree incumbent in it. Uh... I, 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 I said tree in terms of, can you talk to one of these fucking trees? To I see if you. they're okay with Millstone being here, so we have that, I don't know, agreeance in our back pocket oh. when we talk to the thing. But, um, oh no, I guess this is like some spirit that we talk to directly. Okay, so I have to talk to the trees to confirm that they're okay with us here. What if they say they aren't? Uh, then fucking convince him. I don't know, Junes. Just, I... I don't know. I mean, our, our big tree seems to like it. I mean, I'd be kind of insulted. My feelings might get hurt if they say no. <laughs> so, you want, you want me to do that right now? Or, like, can I take a nap? Or... And, and then we go, and then we tell the spirits about it? To be fair, we've done a fucking shit ton of things today. So I, I guess so. I guess we could rest and head out later. I mean, it's up to you. Um. Well, I mean, no. Honestly, not but a couple hours ago, I was fighting a couple of those things and almost died again. So yeah. a nap wouldn't be remiss, to be fair. But this is just yeah. something I want to do pretty soon. Okay, that sounds great. I'm really down for that for that idea. It doesn't sound tedious like our frog trip. So I'm okay with that. I just need to sleep a little bit and eat a little bit and then sleep some more and then eat some more and then I'm good. What do y'all think? Well, okay. I I obviously think that maybe we should... Um, I think maybe it'd be best to wait until the morning. I mean, you got pretty beat up um, today. And maybe a, a good night's rest would help us. But it's all up to what you think. If, how important is it for um, expediency? I mean, obviously, it's it's really important if it will help her. I'm not saying. Uh, is it time sensitive? Is 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 sort of what I'm asking. Are we losing the deal if we wait? No, no. No way. <sighs> I think we can stand a night. Yeah. That's good. 
I'll I'll make sure to to prepare myself and 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 be ready for talking to plants and talking to more plants and travel. You want to accompany Bray? Always. You're you're not gonna get like held up cooking the next time we see you. Hopefully not. <laughs> well, no, I, I I appreciate it, guys. Um, this was a surprising development and one I want to do quickly. But yeah, we can. <clears throat> obviously sleep off everything that's happened today and I, I think it'll be okay yeah, um, yeah. I really do um, worry about Nina she's not looking so good do we I don't want to impose do we want to ask uh, 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 the, the bell ghost guy he was really useful in that fight there I guess I mean open invitation <laughs> I mean what we just did was supposed to be getting some bones and coming back and that turned out to be mm -hmm. ex well more okay. like we're want to do so plus he's like a, a, a medical expert or whatever so like I don't know if anything's going on fishy with this uh, 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 forest guy, you know. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, too. I mean, these are all fantastic ideas. I don't have too much experience, so if you're comfortable with them coming along, then I won't disagree with you. That'll give me time to talk, to have Ogvar talk to Kyena about Cherry. Hmm. Mm. While I nap. I like how okay. you set that up, Junes, but that is pertinent. I, I suppose she should know that there is, um, that thing here. Yeah. I don't want anyone to just fumble into Jerry and get scared or anything, or Jerry gets scared. So. Yeah, I, I did. I did briefly let her know that June's brought back a new friend, but I think the um, details are best left to Hog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well. Let's get your light down, and um, I can go do that, I guess. Um, and I'll go um, let... Is Corporal still here? Uh, Bell goes. Yeah. Okay, then I guess I'll walk closer to the grave, because we're just sort of talking about you while you're standing right there. Be like, hey, hey Bell goes. Hey, you were like super helpful like all day today. Um, and we we're just gonna say like you know, um, Locke has this uh, thing he wants to walk to in the forest. Um, that has something to do with I guess. Uh... Ogvar's about to say something about Nina, but then stops himself. Uh, it, it's supposed to like help us out or something. And uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to come. Um... Because, you know, you were super helpful, like, in that fight, and we weren't expecting a fight, and, you know, just be, I, you know, the invitation's out there, that's all. Of course, I would love to. Uh, Belgoist will look towards, like, the, the Pato Playbus Jeremy, or Jerry, not Jeremy. I, I keep getting that mixed up in my head. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll like look over to Jerry and be like, "Is that safe?" 
I yeah. Um, I think they've organized a deal with it for um, ferns in exchange for protection and not consuming people. Um, I mean, I think it's intelligent enough to, you know, I mean, it knows what a week is, so I think it's intelligent enough to know a deal. I don't know. If you would have me, I am more than willing to come with you. I can keep an eye on Miss Juniper, or er, Mrs. Juniper, and perhaps talk your friends Locke and Brayman into a examination. I think, honestly, that'd be very beneficial for uh, uh, Locke. Um, I, mean, I, I know he's really, um, you know, uh, guarded about that sort of thing, but, like, uh, he, he's gone through a lot, and, you know, t he takes a lot of hits and stuff. I don't know, he might have a concussion or two. I mean, he forgot he tattooed his name on the side of his head. saw the hits he took in that fight. It was quite... I'm surprised he was still standing. Yeah, that dude has, like, crazy fortitude and, like, more than one disease, so that's, that's luck for you. Bogos will nod. Uh, when... Do you leave? Um, I think we're, like, leaving in the morning. Uh, I guess once they wake up, so that might be a bit later for Juniper or Locke, depending on if Locke um, drinks tonight. Sounds good. Yeah, if anyone's still sleeping, you can, like, come over to our house and I'll make some coffee or something. That sounds lovely. Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go make sure Juniper is, you know, snugly in bed, and then I'm going to go talk to Kayana about uh, our new guest. Sleeping this night will also give the opportunity for Nina to probably join this uh, as well, following the down to that blade. As uh, you all get, uh, you're going to see Juniper is safe and sound, sleeping in your bed. No issues about that. He is the same. Uh, well, we're gonna see about the rest of the events though on our next session, as this is where we are gonna call it for the day. <gasps> <gasps> oh. Gasp. Cliffhanger. Uh, That's yeah. how pass. That's pretty much. <laughs> how do you pronounce it? <laughs> like platypus, but it's a catablopus. <laughs> a catablopus. A catab. A catab. A catablopus. Cat o play boss. Catablopus. Catablopus. I I can't say it. <laughs> it's Jerry. That's what it is. <laughs> It's Jerry. Jerry and Oh, Keith. Jerry. Meets Ferns. I don't know why I keep getting Jerry and Jerry mixed up. I'm sorry. It's, well, it's <laughs> like one syllable. Might as well have just named it Jeremy. I don't even... <laughs> I didn't think of that. That's funny. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> subconsciously, I, I... I have thought I um, held with eight hundreds. <laughs> But what oh, do we man. name this big hulking monster that is just stinky everywhere? Ah, Jerry's a good name. <laughs> Jeez, cat. Jerry, Bobby Key. <laughs> Bob Candy. Just trying. Uh, Brandon. <laughs> uh, Tristan. Mm. Mm. Yes. Uh, the, something kind of funny happened to me uh, this week. I thought, like, out of everyone, you'd be able to. Uh, appreciate at my work we have a steam kettle and uh 
Someone forgot to put water in it when they turned it on. Ooh. God. And, uh, yeah, they turned it on the highest yeah. setting. And it just went, and it just vented everything. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't know I, you were uh, supposed to fill it with water before. I had to like, I, I, had, wait, to, <laughs> I had to walk through like a wall of steam in order to turn the damn thing off. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm oh. sorry. That uh, sucks. Dude. Someone nearly made a. He's saying he's sorry because he was that person. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Aw. They were trying to saute vegetables for stock. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a great session, BG. Thank you. I had, so much had fun. a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was Thank that was, yeah. Yeah. This was hilarious. <laughs> Jeez. I'm glad you did. Yeah. Probably the next one is going to be the. Oh, I'm not sure if it's going to be the last. I'm sure you're going to prove me wrong, but it's meant to be the last <laughs> <time> session. Fucking <laughs> 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 jinxing yourself. Everyone is like, like, right now is like challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> the last you say. Huh. Yeah, you're introducing. Uh, if Curtis is gonna be in the next one too. Boy. I had to say something though. Uh, next week we're having a game. The week after, 15th of August, we are not. I'm going to be on vacation. Uh, mm. Time. Something on your own. Free to. You're gonna be free from the DM unchained. Damn it. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to play Baldur's Gate. Is that yeah. even fair? So, <laughs> well, it's, so it's all this like... game comes out tomorrow, you said? Or two days? Uh, Wednesday. No, third. <sighs> Fuck my brain. Thursday? Yeah, yes. Thursday. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to jump off. Uh, I'm going to see you all on the next one. Okay? Sounds good. Alright, sounds good, man. Yeah, give me a Have a good night, Bye. guys. Okay, see ya. Goodbye, people. See you soon.